Hello everybody, welcome back to Kids Gaming, I'm your host Kid. Today I'm back at it again with some more Empire at War, playing the Amazing Mod, Awakening of the Rebellion, playing the Amazing Sub Mod, Awakening of the Independence. Today is a video that I have been making for a minute, but I just never had the time. Today we're going to be covering experimental Star Destroyers in the, whatchamacallit, the, the Warlord faction. So this is the Star Destroyer Mark II, which is an IS, which is a, basically an ISD-1 with its hangers extended and way lower weapons. Like, as you can see here, it only really has two heavy turbos. Dual me long radium mage turbos. It has very weak weaponry. This serves as more as a role as I assume the Venator does. So while this ship doesn't seem like it can really handle combat on its own, it is still a Star Destroyer. Luckily. Ready for orders. Setting up my run. It does seem to be capable of some combat, because it does have heavy turbos, but it lacks the firepower you expect out of an ISD. And here we have the man himself, the leader of the Warlord faction. Now, as you can see here, this is a modified Tector class, not just a modified one, with heavy turbos, fully outfitted. It seems to have fairly weaker TIE Fighter complements, lacking the TIE Defender. However, it does give you more fighters. A modified version of the Tector, so imagine a Tector with a fighter complement. <laughs> is effectively, and you'll have a good idea of what this ship is capable of making this a very versatile capital ship, and kind of one of your best early game capital ships, especially for the Warlord faction. Now, as you can see here, this firepower is far more comparable to what you would normally expect in a Star Destroyer, able to pretty much do a good decent amount of damage in the first few seconds, having, being able, well, having multiple firing arcs to be able to cover far more ground and territory, this is what you're more average capital ship would be like. This is your frontline ship and your main heavy fighter group, while your I your Experimental Mark IIs will provide most of your fighter complement. And here we have the Victory Mark I Experimental Variant. This is an extremely versatile ship as it, it helps you train what the other two ships, other ships we've shown in this lack, which is ion capabilities having been removed or the ion bearing weapons taken out in place of other weapons. This one replaces the classic torpedoes with the ion variant, the mag pulse missiles. However, it can't hold its own in a fight. As we can see here, it's pretty much getting destroyed immediately. However, it is able to do a decent amount of damage plus its fighter capabilities, giving it the ability to basically have a bomb, which here, we'll actually be able to see it go off, does devastating damage to all ships nearby, as we actually saw, it actually takes out, it's an AoE, it actually takes out other ships. However, once again, it cannot hold its own on a 1v1 fight. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Please let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.